Okay, the second option that I showed you was to create a module that has a link to your syllabus file inside of the module. So if you go to your modules tool and you could create a new module, and let's say this was a week one module. Call it week one, hit add module. We've now got a module, a bucket, uh, an empty container into which we can add whatever we want, right? So we hit our plus sign and we are going to, let's first create a page of our module because it's nice to start our module with an overview page. So I'm gonna create a new page um, and we'll say week one overview. So this is not the syllabus file, this is a page. I'll go into that week one overview, hit edit, and maybe I give a blurb about week one, materials and activities. Maybe I have week one objectives. By the end of this week, you should be able to, and then we list some objectives, 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 right? So this is whatever you want it to be um, as a week one overview page. We're not at the syllabus yet. I realize that. I'm going to save and publish, but now I've got, go back to modules, I've got my week one overview page in there. Now I'm ready for them to see the syllabus. Now when I hit the plus sign, I add file. And I'm gonna hit new file, and here's where it's gonna let me go out and grab that sample syllabus, upload it, add items. And now I've got a link to that syllabus in my week one module. So student goes into week, let's, let's publish that module. Student goes into week one. Yay, they get the overview, they get the objectives, and they click on next. And just as we saw in the demo video, this is how they could also encounter your syllabus. Okay, so that's the second option, adding your syllabus file uh, to a module.